Today we are installing the loop stalls. DOS loops, dude. It's gonna be sick. But yeah, I mean, there's not too much other of an intro that I need to do here. Um, I'm J Bob, as some of you may know, some of you may not know me. But today we're gonna be putting in new loop stalls for our dairy cows. So let's get to it. All right, so we got the new railing loaded up here. Um, we're gonna get that taken over to where we're putting them in at and then we're gonna start tearing out all the old stuff and that should take us a little bit so let's get to that all right so here's the difference here this side of stalls are all the old stall stuff that were taken out that was installed in like the 60s or the 70s and they are just they're not good they're too rigid because you know cows are big animals they get up and move around a lot and the loop stalls you know the, these ones we we put in ourselves they can have some wiggle room so if the cows bump into them they don't snap them these ones are just solid into the ground and if they get any pressure up against them they just break so they're coming out and we're going all loops both sides because we so we got the old stuff out jordan's drilling the first hole so we can start hanging up the new channel and we're gonna have to also come through and dig down the straw had some build up where the old ones were sitting obviously and get this bed pack dug back down to what height it's supposed to be jordan's over there working with the longest drill bit i've ever seen but yeah it's coming along smoothly so far i'll give you an update here in a little bit got ourselves a hole comes out over here through the tree post that they decided to use when they built this place. Nice. And we got an extremely long bolt to anchor in the channel. It's gonna hold the loop stalls. Perfect. There we are. Got it on right, there we go. Do have the first rail slightly suspended. Oh. Next bolt is in. Top railing secured for the first little bit here. And then we'll get in the bottom and then loops. Loops, loops, loops. So basically, what's going on is we ran out of uh, nuts and washer and bolts for our um putting up the railing so i went into town to get all that while well, i've been doing that jordan's been ripping out all the old stuff and i just got back with all the stuff that we need so we're gonna get back to it and we're just gonna get it all thrown up here in the next like 30 ish minutes so yeah get after that real quick quick reference again old stalls stalls on the other side and the new stuff that's going in obviously the bed packs need to get dug down but looking crisp some fresh beds so now what we're going along doing jordan's drilling holes in the top of the loop so when you stick them into the pipe you just put like a little like a screw in there holds it in so then if we ever need to take out any of the loops, if there's like a down cow in the stall, we can just pick up on the loop, pull that out, and then pull the loop out. But other than that, it'll keep it pretty secure. Let's grab it like so, shove it in, and bam. Locked in. And we're gonna do that for this row, and then I think we will continue putting these in tomorrow. 
So the way that we'd like to have those loops set up is like these ones, nice and raised up off the ground. But the setup for this barn, the way that it's built, we just can't. We gotta have these ones way closer to the ground. And in the wise words of Jordan, he has said that the project is kind of half-assed the way that we're doing it, but this part of the barn doesn't have a whole ass to work with, so what are you gonna do? <laughs> so yeah, but well, we're moving right along here. We'll be done here in a second with at least this section. And I mean, it's way, way nicer than what was in here. So you can't really complain. It's gonna open up a lot more stall space. It's gonna be way nicer for the cows. They're gonna enjoy it quite a bit. Nice big open stalls. Well, we're gonna have to move these posts because they're obviously in the way of the stalls. Move it over, line it up with these. But for now, we got these tiny one bedroom, one bath New York apartment. And down here, we got a Texas Deluxe stall <laughs> for one day only until we finish it tomorrow but you know that's what happens when you run out of bolts mid project and didn't realize that you need more that's all right though it's coming along looking less like shitty stalls and more like we know what we're doing <laughs> well this video is going to be a uh, relatively shorter one but um in the next video we're going to finish up with the stalls and whatnot and I will also be going on like a five hour road trip for what I will not say yet, but that should be pretty fun. See how that goes. But um, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. I'll give you free cookies. And if you already are subscribed, please like the video. And until next time, peace out.